Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, like, and if you're new, like and subscribe. Uh, I'd like to just make another quick video, kind of a review video, on a particular swim bait that I came across late last season. I really wish I would have found these early spring last season, but I found them kind of near the end of summer. Um, these are magnetized, weedless, herring pattern swim baits um, made in Japan by a company by the name of Imakatsu. Um, you can purchase a two pack of these things for $25. Um, what kind of kills you on the price is the shipping because these are shipped directly from Japan. Um, I can leave a link to the website that I purchased these from in the description of this video. Um, but I can't say enough about these swim baits. I'm a big swim bait fisherman. I try to throw them in any water condition possible, any time of year, but particularly early spring, um, is, is when these are most effective around this area especially in the ponds that have herring runs leading to them from the ocean because this very much looks like a herring uh, swimming in the water. The realism of this and the realistic swim action is is unmatched among swim baits that I've come across anyway. And I've thrown Huddlestons, I've thrown Savage Gear swim baits, I've thrown uh, what else? other Savage Gear, kind of super, super shiner type uh, weedless with a I believe there's a six aught or seven aught hook in here. It's something huge. And I also have Huddleston's um, just for perspective there. So I, I'm big on swim baits. I've thrown swim baits for most of my bass fishing career. Um, but I can't say enough about these Imakatsus here. They are on a hinged jig head, first of all. Um, and they're magnetized to keep the hook, the hook unexposed. Um, I've thrown these in the most weeded, deep, you know, most foraged upon areas in the pond. Um, kettle ponds, you know, still water kettle ponds where there's a lot of vegetation and they swim right through. Um, I've not, this is the most realistic uh, swim bait I own at the moment. I can't wait until spring to throw these because this is the first thing I'm going to be throwing during that herring run uh, season. Um, yeah, I can't say enough about these things. I've actually, so one of these particular from the set i've actually inserted a um two uh, half gram pagoda weight in the forehead just to kind of give it that heavier top, uh, top end heavy approach in the water so that when this is hitting the bottom it actually appears like a herring feeding on something uh, on the bottom of the of the water so Again, I can leave a link to the purchase site in the description, and I can't say enough about these things. And Oh, and before I forget, I actually added, so these don't have any type of rattle mechanism or any type of sound to them. So I've actually inserted a glass 3mm rattle from Bass Pro Shops in the tail. I, I try to add the glass rattles to pretty much any, any plastic that I own. Um, just for that additional attention grabber of the larger bass that may be sleeping in the weeds. Or, uh, you know, because they use sound to detect their food a lot of the time. Sound and vibration. Uh, as far as the composition of the plastic, it's pretty durable stuff. Uh, I know that they mix in polymer into the composition there. Uh, this is the most damaged part of this one here. I had a six or seven pound pickerel rip this thing to shreds one day. And I had a whole bunch of other ones kind of come up and nibble at it. And I'm pretty sure they were pickerel. Um, but the viscosity of this material is so good that it hides the, you know, it hides all that. So they're extremely durable. They're, they're, they're pretty affordable. I mean, two of these for 25, I think after shipping, I think I paid $15 shipment, shipping, something like that, but it's coming from halfway across the world. So go figure. Um, but just to kind of add to your arsenal of swim baits, I looked to Japan because some of the videos I've seen these guys catching, uh, you know, they're catching 18 20 pound bass in some lakes over there some some bodies of water so and i noticed they're always either throwing live bluegill or one of these real realistic swim baits um so yeah imakatsu stealth swimmer you have many different varieties to choose from um different color patterns etc and uh 
again, I would just love, I would appreciate a like and subscribe if you're new, and and a like if you're returning. And um, until next time, keep trapping.